All right, all right, all right. I've only been playing ranked for a couple days now, but I've been ranking up so fast. I want to share this with you guys because it's going to help you guys who might be struggling, losing a lot of games to really bounce back and start winning. I know it's easy to get frustrated, but when it comes down to it, that's not going to help you. You want to stay composed. And these principles I'm about to share with you, you're going to be able to do that. Especially if you're solo, like I was here. I don't want to be commentating the whole time. I just want to let you guys see how this works and how you win games. I'll definitely be commentating on things that I feel like I need to point out. But yeah, watch and learn. And if you let it, it'll make you a better player. This is my general playstyle, by the way, when it comes to these objective game modes. I don't normally play on the objective, maybe capturing it, defending it, whatever. I like to play beyond the objective, keeping the enemy team off of it, if that makes sense. So I don't play on the objective, killing them there. I play beyond the objective, killing them before they even get there. That's my general census. I really like the precision airstrikes over the missiles. I feel like the missiles get destroyed by the trophy systems a lot. So I'm definitely using precision airstrikes from now on. I was doing good this game. I was doing really good, but I made a fatal mistake right here. Really lost my 1v1. If I would have got that guy, then he can't capture it and we win the game right there. And that's crucial because in a competitive game, that'll cause you to lose the entire game, you know? So you really have to take advantage of every play you can make. We got them on lives here, ultimately, that's one of the best things you can do, just make them run out of lives in this game mode. To do that though, you have to be the better player and the better team. You can't die, that's as simple as that.
When it comes to using Dead Silence or a trophy system, I normally go with Dead Silence because I feel like I'm kind of that type of player that is moving, that's kind of getting kills, you know what I mean? And Dead Silence is going to help me more when I'm moving around doing that. If you're using a trophy system, mainly you're going to be playing objective, right? You need that trophy system to save you from grenades and stuff. So it's really just based off your playstyle. Yeah, I'm not used to using airstrikes in multiplayer, I guess. The airstrikes are a little different in this game mode. Like I said earlier, in this game mode, you have only have a certain amount of lives, so if you can make them waste their lives, it's really a great way to win this game mode. But you also can't let them just capture the zones, you know? So you gotta defend them. Which can be kinda hard when you're solo queuing, obviously. Um, you can't really communicate to your teammates. So you really just gotta go off the feel of how it's going. Maybe you have one guy who always goes to A, so you gotta realize that. And say, alright, he's going to A most likely, so I'll go to B. Things like that. Kind of get the feel for how your teammates are playing, you know what I mean? And uh, play off that. Yeah. 
that was a. Uh, I don't want to say easy game. I mean, we worked hard for that game, for a good win. But being one of the lowest ranks, he came out on the very top of the leaderboard, which is impressive. When you have good games like that, sometimes you'll have a player like this join your lobby. They want to play with you. Hello. But, you know, you really got to be careful who you play with, and I didn't know who this was, so. <coughs> Sorry, I play alone. This is game two. Another good game. I'll let you guys watch. And learn, of course. <laughs> Maybe you're learning what not to do. Definitely... For the rest of this game, I respected that angle and I was careful peeking that corner and I don't think I ever died there again. Instead, I got kills there. So definitely learn from your mistakes and don't get mad, don't get frustrated and start cussing. Learn from your mistakes and move on and you're going to get better, guys. Really getting hammered the first couple rounds. Hey, failure is a good teacher, so. My teammates clutched up, love of that. You can't do everything, guys. You're gonna have to. Rely on your teammates. And sometimes you're gonna get bad teammates, you know? And that's gonna happen. And when it does, just do your best. All you can do is play your best. And at the end of the day, if you did your part, then that's all that really matters. You'll notice when I aim down my sight, it's how I want to be quiet. When I want to be quiet, I aim down my sights so that my footsteps aren't as loud. And wow, this first couple rounds here, really not doing much, but doing just enough, I guess. 1v2 Ah, yeah, I'm still a little new to this, so I didn't realize, you know, I was thinking maybe when I start planting the bomb, the timer won't run out But yeah, I'm still learning too, guys
Holding these angles is everything and search and destroy. When you're defending the objective, you have the ability to hold the angles because they have to go to a bomb and plan it. Or else the time will expire and you win. So you have to plant the bomb and you're going to be at the mercy of them in a way. Um, because they're gonna be holding those angles waiting for you to try to plant the bomb. Search and destroy. Planning a bomb is good. Definitely do that whenever you can. It's going to give you points, which can count towards your kill streaks and stuff like that. Even if it's not necessary, maybe you got a really good round and there's only one guy left on the enemy team. Just plant the bomb real quick anyway for some more points. My teammates obviously did fantastic this game. This isn't a game that required me to do anything spectacular necessarily. You'll see that I did clutch up a couple times in these later rounds, but you know, my team did great. So you gotta love it. I know some people like to use a knife because it makes them a little faster, but <laughs> I have a problem when I use a knife. I tend to not be able to put it away fast enough and I'll accidentally swing with it just because it's like there's a delay or something. I don't know what it is, but when I, when I have a pistol, I just don't have that delay. I know I can't run as fast, so that sucks, but the delay gets me killed. 
too often, so I'd rather just have a pistol. And for underwater, that pistol's kind of cool, so definitely clutched up with the pistol a couple times when I run out of ammo. and destroy. Took out two guys right there. Good stuff for him. I was kind of distracting one of them at least, and they weren't really looking at him. Kind of looking at Final so he did a really good job coming up behind him right there, getting the drop on. Now it's a one v one, and at first I'm gonna go look for this guy, but then I remember, wait, my teammate took out two guys back here. They probably had the bomb, so let me go wait over here. Because they probably have the bomb over here, and he's going to come and get it, and sure enough. Mission complete. Solid work. Sometimes you don't have to be better, you just have to be smarter, guys. Not that you don't want to be better, obviously you want to be better, but... Guys, thank you so much for your support and allowing me to make videos like this. I'm super excited for what's next. I hope to see you there.